Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ronan Tame HD. So yeah, this is going to be a great time. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ticket Tuesday. I am Ronan Tame HD. And this week we watched Madam Web, the new Sony Spider Verse film, whatever the fuck, starring Dakota Johnson. This film was very dull and boring and uninteresting. And God, I just want. Sony, why do you do this? This film did not interest me. I was not a huge fan of it, and I'm just getting sick and tired of these films. But before I go on a whole rant about how much I did not like this movie and how boring it was, I'll tell you why I thought those things and more back at the house. I don't understand what's happening. What is going on? You don't think this is weird? How we're all connected? It's honestly like the least weird thing that's happened all day. Why do we if you want to live, you have to trust me. showing off. Maybe a little. Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Ticket Tuesday. I'm Russell and Tomichi, and this week we watched Madam Web, the new Sony Spider-Verse film directed by S.J. Clarkson. Sorry, this is your film debut. Really unfortunate. And uh, starring Dakota Johnson. This film, and I'm just going to get right off the bat, who thought, who the fuck thought it was a good idea to get the Morbius writers to to write this like just for real who who thought that was a good idea all right i don't know i just didn't think that was a great idea it's not good not good at all and i want to tell you this this film i think i did not i liked less i like this movie less than morbius and not even that i thought morbius was good i thought it was awful you guys remember if you remember if you watch my review i hated that movie with a passion but that's exactly why I prefer Morbius. It makes me feel something, right? It made me feel like a fire in my heart. It made me hate it with a passion. This film? Nothing. I feel nothing. Except for, I feel fucking depressed. Like, this film made me sad. Like, legit. I was having, gonna have, like, a fucking panic attack in the theater. Because I'm like... This film is just so nothing. It just has no soul, no passion, no nothing. To the point where it legit made me have almost have a panic attack. And I just can't fathom that, like, why did they think this was a good idea? So as of the recording of this video, it has been three weeks and made $90 million in the box office. Yeah. Uh, with an $80 million budget, that is not great. Uh, and yeah, this film is just the definition of apathy. And that just... Yeah. Just apathy, and that's why I'm not energetic in this video, because why should I exert more energy for this fucking dog shit film? I mean, I could go on about how awful the dialogue was, how... So, how about I get into that? The dialogue was fucking terrible. The exposition was fucking terrible. They ne this was the definition of tell, tell, don't show. They didn't show anything. They told everything to the audience. Like, they thought they were fucking idiots. And there was, like, dialogue that made me laugh, but the afterwards just made me sad. Because it's so bad, right? Like, the dialogue was so badly written... I thought fucking AI wrote it. None of it was funny. None of it was clever, witty, character. None of that. It was a soulless factory line product that was made to be made. I don't know who this movie was made for. And it... I don't know. And the other stuff. The villain. Let's get into him. If you could fucking call him a villain... He had nothing, nothing to do with the story. Nothing to do with the story, pretty much. Well, no, he had something to do with the story, but, like, he hadn't done any motivation. He constantly, he's go always going on about, oh, oh, I have the, the things I've built and this and that and the money I have and yada yada, but they never show it. They never show why he wants to stay alive, why he doesn't, I mean, obviously from the point of him not wanting to die, 
but he the only motivation for him hunting down the main characters is because he sees a vision of them killing him in the future. It's like, that's it? And he killed the main character's mom. He killed the main character's mom, which, like, I thought maybe our main character would be, like, affected by that. That, like, her, like, the bad guy is her mother's killer. No. She never even really brings it up. She never even really seems to care. Even though it's like she sees it in a vision. She doesn't, like, react or say anything or in the final confrontation she's like says something cliche like this was for my mother or like nothing there's nothing and this movie is nothing and it makes me feel nothing and i despise it this film is probably the worst film i've seen all year well there are a couple more films that i have seen that have been maybe worse but maybe i need to see megamind too here and that one's pretty bad or Megamind vs. the Doom Syndicate, whatever the fuck they want to call it. This film was probably one of the worst, like, superhero films I've seen in a long time, since Morbius. But I'll tell you this, at least Morbius made me feel something. This? No. Except for depression. <laughs> That's all this movie made me feel. And I did not like it. And yeah, that is just bad characters are bad writing is bad story is non-existent N no motivations for any of the characters none of them have any character at all they all just exist to exist and it just yeah and now what i get into recommendations would i recommend this movie does it sound like i recommend this movie have you been listening no under any circumstances would I recommend this film? It is a slog, and it just makes you depressed after watching it. So no, I would not recommend this movie. Absolutely not. And this film, I would rate... I mean, it wasn't the worst film I've ever seen, but sure as hell wasn't the best one. It was just so bad to the point where... I just went out of the theater wanting to just lay down and take a nap. So yeah, I rate this film a 2.5 out of 10. Very, very bad. Do not recommend it. And uh, yeah, I think uh, so I'm going to say things to my piece. So guys, hope you like this video. Share your friends, subscribe, turn those notifications on. Comment down below how much you liked it. But you guys know how it goes. I didn't even say that. What I really meant to say was if you guys hated this video, unsubscribe, just like tell me what you hate me in the comments. I don't know time HD. Slaying off. Even though they never even do that in this movie. By the way, I don't even care about spoilers. Why would you care about spoilers for Madam Web? I'm not even going to give you a spoiler warning. Is that good? You know, by the way, I'm going to say this right now. There is so many, like, the whole plot of this film is, like, so ass backwards. It's like fucking everything is circumstantial. Like, everything happens because it happens. There's no, like, reason for it, right? Everything just, just happens and then you move on. It's not how you make a movie. That's not how you movie. Like, I'm sorry... I'm sorry, SJ, but this movie just ain't it, Chief. I know you're just doing your job. No, Sony, this is your fault, Sony, not SJ. I'm sorry. Stupid. I'm sorry, SJ. Hope you do better. Don't work for Sony again. They'll ruin your career.